What's up, Matthew? Hey, what's up, Ben? What is in store for tonight on, what do we call this, Project NC? Yeah, this Project NC. Uh, N the, NC, NC Miata. You know, parentheses, the best Miata. Um, it just might be. <laughs> I think it might be too, uh, with, the, with the right amount of power. But um, speaking of power. Let's add some we're gonna, power. We're gonna add some. Um, well, hold on, yeah. before we get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. You guys, I've tuned in. Matthew and I did a drag race. We did. Of my RX-8 versus his NC Miata. Spanked him. Spanked by like you, a car. You were inching ahead. <laughs> we, we and then we barely broke tr the speed limit. <laughs> it was it was one of the most hysterical races ever. You yeah. Could, you could race in literally in the middle of traffic and nobody even knows that you're yeah. racing because that's how slow the cars are. But the Arc say nudged out match you mm -hmm. a little bit. Yep. In the top end. So now it's time to start opening up for a little more hearse per. And, and everybody says for an NC, if you want to do some power, it's a header and a tune. That's a header. It's a header's like number one for almost yep. any engine. Yep. But um, kids, if you've been following this channel, you know your old boy Quinn here is a big old stickler for good header design. And he had a lot to do with which one I went with. And, and we're, I, oh, we're going to talk about that right now. Yeah. And I could be completely off the mark here for this one because everybody says the four to one headers are the best. But I yep. asked him, what are you trying to do? Four to, typically on a four cylinder, a four to one is better for peak power, mm -hmm. but a four to two to one, a tri-Y design mm -hmm. will usually gain peak over a factory exhaust manifold, but also help -range. a lot in the mid range. And on a two liter, cars that aren't that torquey, I feel like a tri-Y is the way to go. Quinn uh, was adamant about this, about well, finding, me finding a tri-Y header or a proper like long tube header for the car. Um, we found that that Hooker actually makes a, a nice header for these things, and it's it's a tr proper try Y. It's like one of the only ones we could find for this car. Here's the here's the difference because we looked at there's another PPE four to two to one. Yeah, it's a proper long tube, but you have to change out the mid. You have to do a different mid pipe. That's that's the difference. And for the amount of money, the collect and like listen, like I'm sure it makes power, right? But yeah. it's just like for that price point, you should have collectors that look amazing. Yeah. This is, how much was this header? This was 500 bucks. It's a $500 header. This has proper merge collectors on it. And this is what's so important on a header design. So like, remember those like $100 eBay manifolds? Oh. If you look at the collectors in them, that's, that's why they're $100. Because there really is no collector. The collector is most important for making numbers on a, on a header. I mean, obviously two, like diameters, lengths and everything matter as well. But the collectors are what create the scavenging. Mm -hmm. time, if, if the exhaust pulses are timed correctly. That's what you want. And then look at the final merge. This is nice. And you can look in here. This is a, this is a proper race formed merge collector. Yeah. I mean, and Hooker's been making headers for, for like muscle cars for how many years? I have no idea. I, I don't, like the 60s, I don't own any 70s? muscle cars. <laughs> um, and it's cool that they give you a million exhaust Bungs. Yeah, there's three of them on the header. There's three on and just the one header. One of them long. is extended too, which is almost like a defouler. So I'm pretty sure the number two cat's going in that that first <laughs> port, and it's going to get rid of my check engine light. No check yeah. engine light, baby. Yeah. But I mean, comparative to other headers, these are, this is a the primaries are not huge. Yeah, but they're smaller. They're if, like one in one point six. If they're matched properly to the head, then that really shouldn't have too much bearing. Although there is something to be said about step primaries. Yeah. You know, I haven't tested every single prop possible header by no when you step the primaries that usually helps a little bit but either way it's going to be way less restrictive than the the stock manifold with the built-in cat and hopefully a little bit lighter it's a little yep. weight savings yep and what then, else and we also did a mid we're doing a mid pipe um this is the uh the goodwin racing two and a half inch um double resonated mid pipe and i'm trying my best to keep this thing quiet so we are getting rid of two cats tonight but we are also adding two resonators, so. And you have, what's the muffler section? The muffler section is a Goodwin Racing Super Q exhaust. It's the one that's designed for ones that you don't want to be out of control loud I with think, a header. I think it's yep. gonna be fine. I think it is too. Yeah. It's already really quiet with the Super Q exhaust, stock manifold, stock mid pipe with a deleted resonator. It's already super quiet. So I'm hoping it still will be. Which is what you want. 
So if, if the header, if, or sorry, if the, if the muffler is quiet when the, the factory cat is still in place, that's a good sign mm -hmm. because when you take that cat off, it's going to get su substantially louder. So I'm hoping this will be a nice compromise and a good sounding exhaust won't like blow up my eardrums. It's definitely not. It's definitely not going to blow your eardrums out. I, like I could just by the way that muffler is, I have enough experience. Yeah. And trying to keep NA cars straight pipes as quiet as possible on the street. Yep. So yeah, let's get this thing installed. And let's do this. Yep. You know, I've heard stories about like removing the header. You have to, you know, prop up the engine. You have to loosen the alternator. We just got it out with, without doing any of that. We did none of that. Nothing. All we did was loosen yep. this one coolant pipe. Yep. And we just kind of bend this down gently. And that gave us enough clearance to hoist the header out. Yep. It probably helps if you have two hands. Or six. Ty, Ty actually choose, did two, most. Two sets of hands. Two, yeah, two sets of hands helps. And a lift. And you need a tile. Yeah, and you need a tile. Tile will help pull he, it out. He pulled it out. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just, uh, we're, taking, we're taking the O2 sensors out of the old manifold. Uh, mid pipe already came out. So it should be pretty straightforward from here on out. We're modifying the O2 sensor. Oh, trying to get that cup out. I don't know why, like I understand why the cup, the purpose of it. It's you like, understand it? I mean, it's gotta be a, like heat protection. From what though? The sensor's in the exhaust. From the wiring? Internet, let me know what this is, cause I'm a little It's gotta perplexed. be protecting like the wiring or something like that. I don't, I don't like it. We're gonna, then you can't use a it. wrench on it, but we're, we're taking it out, I think. What'd you just break? Nothing. <laughs> I've never broken anything. Whatever, as long as the car runs. <laughs> All right, what are we doing, Matthew? What do we do on every every exhaust install? We use isopropyl alcohol. We wipe it down. And yep. why do we, we wipe, wipe it down? down? Because there's oils on your fingers. You notice I'm wearing latex gloves right now too. There is oil all over your fingers, and when you when you touch these these parts and put them in, and they heat up, it burns in all those oils, and it looks gross. Turns brown. Yes, it turns like brown. We want we want this to look as nice as possible. Yeah, not like shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> wiping this down with with some alcohol. Good, tell them about how you get pissed off when you see people on YouTube installing oh, these high-end oh exhausts with just, their bare hands. Just holding it with their bare hands. And I mean, I don't really get pissed off. It, whatever, it's not my car, but it still makes me cringe a little bit. And I'm not the most anal person in the world either. Like I, I get shit done. Um, I'm not like a perfectionist with everything, but like. Quinny's more anal than you. Gross. Who is? Quinny. Yeah, oh, you? Yeah. You, don't, you, <laughs> you are. I did polish this a little bit. I did, I started with like a, uh, what did I start with, 800 grit? And then uh, I went up to like a 1500 grit and then a, a, like a 2000. And then I took some of uh, the, what is that? It's like mothers, not mothers. I don't know, some kind of polishing compound in a polishing wheel on a drill. And, cause it, it's not as nice from the from the factory. Like they don't do any like polish work. That's probably how they keep the cost down on this header. That looks pretty gosh but darn good to me. It looks pretty good. It came out pretty good. Like. Like better than it came out of the box, for sure. Matt, you did a good job polishing your, your pipes there, buddy. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> Matt, you the pipe polisher. All right, let's Can see if this that? thing's just gonna go right in. All right, oh, and we, we gotta, he's gonna wipe down his mid pipes, but yeah, we'll you guys do that. seen Matt, you biffing enough pipes here for one night, so <laughs> let's start the install. <laughs> Who wants to see that?
Hey, Quinn. What's up, Matthew? That's an awfully similar number to, to the one we did last time. What happened here? But what, but what happened? I took weight out of it. I've got a, a lightweight battery. There's the air box is gone. The header, the catless header. Like, I mean, Whoa. okay. So I've got an extra quarter tank of gas in the car than when I weighed it last time. So we think we, we estimate it's about 18 pounds of weight savings. Yeah. Something. And I suspect, yeah. So it's 18 pounds. You figure the battery saves about 10. Air box, um, you know, a few couple pounds there. Battery box, mm -hmm. maybe a pound. You know, a couple pounds out of the out of the uh, original manifold with the with the cat. I think that the mid pipe was probably heavier than I put on. We'll never know now. Yep, I know because we did it all. <laughs> I did like, it all in one night. We're like, oh, we'll just instead of weighing everything individually and wasting all that time <laughs> filming it, we'll just put it on the scales. Man, and here it is. Womp womp. Went up a pound. Twenty-five, <laughs> twenty-eight. Oh, don't stop it. I was breathing on the car. That's okay. Probably. All right. Yeah. That's why. But either way, I mean, even if that, that mid pipe did add a little bit of weight, I still think it was worth it. Cause this thing is very tame for a completely uncorked exhaust system. Yes. Sounds good. I'm very happy with it. It's actually quiet. Yeah. In my opinion. Well, that's, and I think that's like one of the, the biggest keys to tuning an NA setup is not having it make your ears and your ass bleed when you're driving it. Cause that gets old real yeah, fast. It does get old real quick. And I remember like, I, I was avoiding driving the, the S2000 because the exhaust was just too boomy. I hated it when it got hot. It was so droney. That was before the, the Blade uh, oh, cat back yeah, there. Oh yeah, with the Nvidia one. With that Nvidia one, I was just like, man, this sucks. But you know, having the having crisp exhaust, have, look at the RX-8. Yeah. Catless rotary. And it's quiet. It's wonderful. I don't even think anyone noticed we were racing. <laughs> <laughs> no one had any idea we were racing, but yeah, it's uh, so I think, I think having a good balance of, you know, you want it a little bit throatier than stock, right? Yeah, and it does these nice like pops in between shifts. And it's just, it's nice. It actually sounds a little better with the top down too. So I find myself wanting to put the top down. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's great. You know, someone said it's gonna be ridiculously loud. Um, it is not when you get the right muffler. Muff well, the muffler matters. So here, here's a good litmus test for you kids. Cause most people, when they buy an exhaust and do a sound clip, they're just throwing it onto their, it's like a, as a cat pack and they're leaving the stock header and they're leaving the stock cat. If it gets decently louder by just adding that cat back, it's going to suck yes. if you do a header in a, in a catless setup. Yeah. If it's barely any louder or just a titch louder, then that's a good sign because then you know it's going to do a decent job of taming, yep. taming the noise. And that's exactly what this thing did when I put that muffler on. So mm -hmm. I, knew, I knew it was going to be good and I'm very happy. And you know, where, wherever this car goes, like right now I'm having some fun with the MZ. But I don't know what, what's going to happen. This isn't going to be the engine that stays in this car forever. <clears throat> case, <clears throat> case swap. I, there's, there's other options, Gwen. There's a new one after that I saw after the case swap. I don't know, man. K, K2.4 with ITV. How, how about a three liter V6 with a, with a carbon intake plenum that is a Duratec engine? Yeah, but you need ITVs for a proper NA setup. But that would be cool. That would still be cooler. It'd be the it'd be the extra torque and horsepower that that would make it worth it. Would. It would, yeah. And that buzz. K K twenty four with ITVs is that's cool. That that's awesome. I mean, maybe I'm, maybe maybe a little air bleeding there. I'm open to anything right now at this point, but like, let's let's see what we can optimize with this first. Yeah. We so, well, 
We'll save we'll save that for the for the race. Video. Oh yeah, we did the rebuttal race already yeah. while filming this. We, we can't we can't spoil that in this video. But yep. stay tuned because that's coming. Yep. All right. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. Yeah. Check out slipanglemedia.com. Look at our new parts section that's up. You want to help support the channel. A lot of the parts that we're installing in our own builds, we're now offering them for sale at very competitive prices. So it's a great way to help support us. And then also you get some of the parts that we recommend and run in our own vehicles for your car as well. Yeah. Cut the fluff out. We got this on there. We got that radiator on there. Oh yeah. Headers soon. We're working yeah. On it. Yeah. We haven't, we, we still like it's dealing with individual companies a lot of the time. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a work in progress. Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this content, please give us a like and a subscribe, share the content, it really helps us. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Tell us in the comments and we will read it and give you a nice polite response. That is it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Done.